So this particular property I've hunted for close to eight years now and it holds a pretty special place in my heart. Um, this is my favourite hunting. So I guess for me there's no exact defining factor as to why I like hunting these boars in the mountains so much. I think it's a culmination of everything. Um, you know, like we're basically hunting ghosts in some of the steepest mountainous terrain you can possibly find around here. Everything's working against you for you to not succeed, you know. Animals are nocturnal, wind is swirling, terrain is steep, the weather is either super hot or super cold and we're basically not meant to be in that environment. So couple all those things together and you got yourself a seriously challenging hunt. These pigs are super, super elusive, super smart, switched on and basically they don't get old for being stupid, you know. They're, they're really intelligent and they know what they're doing and they don't want to be seen by us. So we're going out trying to find something that doesn't want to be seen and doesn't want to show itself in the daytime. And for me, the challenge of that in steep mountainous country like this, it's, it's super rewarding when it all comes together. We've had a pretty wet drive in, uh, a lot of rain over the last couple of days. It's cold, it's overcast, pretty miserable weather, so fire's obviously going, but just gonna cook up some food for tomorrow, get an early night, probably be up about 10 to four. A uh, couple hours on foot before the sun's up in the morning and we'll be out ready to find a pig on first light. So it's been a few weeks since I've actually been to this place and hunted. We're going to get up nice and early, we can't drive so we're going to have to walk a couple of k's out. So we're basically going to walk out, wait for the sun to come up, glass, if to no avail then we're going to put some uh, miles underfoot pretty well. So I like to, when the hunting's slow, I like to cover a lot of ground and I guess have a look at the ground, have a look at the sign that's there. Like you can glass as much as you like, but unless you're physically walking on that hillside you're not going to know exactly what's happening there. So plan for the morning is we'll go on glass, hopefully find a boar. If not, we're gonna go walk as much as we can, cover as much ground as possible, and, and get an idea of what's happening on the place, you know, see where the pigs are moving to and from, and hopefully bump into some along the way. So basically, um, we sort of cut around a long way this morning. Wind sucking up the hill, which is a bit different to what it usually does here, but so we're gonna punch along and basically be glassing down into the valleys. Um, there was the weather last night, it rained, overcast, and I think it's rained a lot in the last two or three days, so there's a better chance of pigs coming out at random times, 9, 10, 11 o'clock in the day for a feed. The main event's gonna happen just on sunrise this morning. Hopefully we can catch a big fella out having a feed or making his way back to his bed for the six minutes of daylight they usually give us. Oh, once we get over this ridge, we can start glassing everywhere. Just in time for the rain. This is like the first frantic five minutes when you're trying to find something. And you can finally see. It's sort of a pretty good spot in the morning and late Arvo as well. Particularly that I know, um, just in front of us there on that tree line that you can see there's a bork. He comes out in between about level with us and the bottom. You'll feed out of these hills right on last light or first light. A couple of deer down there feeding. It's not what we want to see.
there's one. Or in the distance over there. Lost him, where you go, where you go. He's on the move. Fuck, where was that at? Oh, where's he gone? I think I can see him again. Yeah. Way in the distance at the end of that gully up there, this one doesn't look too big. Just have a look to see how fast he's gonna move off. We've waited about two or three hours after the sun's come up and it's sort of warmed up just a little bit. Um, so those pigs might be coming out of their beds and just coming out to feed for 15, 20 minutes at a time now. It's a bit warmer. But um, we've seen two what we think are boars over the other side. So we've just come out and gone back away again. But at least we sort of have an idea of where they're at to start with. It's kind of a bit of a risk going over when they're in th such thick scrub. Sort of get over there and won't, won't be able to get back onto them again. So we kind of need to know if he's bedded down. It's pretty bloody cold this morning too. what the wind's gonna do here. I'm thinking we're just gonna go in on the same level as him. And sort of make my mind up from there. and made a dash for it but it was too late so that boar has done that to me there about four or five times now we know he's there at least he wins this time but that'll be like we'll play the long game with him and he could come out over the next two three four days So we spent most of the morning uh, hunting a lot of the lower country you can see behind me and it's too wet to drive so we've sort of spent the last hour or so making our way up a lot higher. It's about one o'clock at the moment, we're going to spend the majority of the afternoon um, up in the far corner here whilst the thermals are still sucking up. 
and as it sort of cools down and gets later um, we're going to sort of cut back and glass our way across this particular paddock. Uh, we know of two boars that are coming out in the far corner and that's sort of what we're hedging our bets on but down below at the moment there's a couple of different mobs of sows we've looked over. They're out feeding at the moment in the middle of the day which is a good sign. Uh, just got to get to a vantage point and hopefully we can I guess spy up a boar that just puts himself out in the open for long enough to give us an opportunity. But, um, it hasn't really warmed up much today. We had a little bit of sun earlier and a lot of the pigs come out then. So hoping they're gonna brave the elements, leave their beds and get an opportunity on a big fella. So the uh, weather's sort of starting to turn it on a bit again. Um, that means back under the tarp for a little bit to try and keep warm. Probably got another three hours of daylight, so hopefully the weather will sort of clear and give us a bit of sunlight in that last hour of the day. This is something I don't generally carry, but I'm glad we had it just then. And my fingers are not working at all. I think you're supposed to fold these to put them away, but... So I've just been glassing for the last couple of hours. Um, the thermals are just starting to switch and suck down the hill, so... Sort of gives us an opportunity to go up on this bench above and sort of look above us for the boars that'll come feed out of the thick stuff, so... So a lot of the time, you can see behind me it's pretty thick here. Um, I'll walk along and stop and listen where you can't actually see into it. Might be 100 metres top to bottom um, you can often hear the pigs rolling rocks starting to move around in there so I'll sort of walk, stop, listen, keep going and if I hear one rolling rocks I basically just wait until it pokes its head out and I can have a look at it. Um, a lot of the time they don't come out in daylight hours and I'll, I'll just be in there until dark but um, i just got to hope we get lucky. And right on cue sit here and they'll come out with two minutes of light left or they might not come out but it's one of my best spots. Yeah, I've seen, seen pigs here so often. So. so it probably looks like it's pretty well too dark to hunt but it's sort of just coming into prime time now. This boar that I know is coming out from here where I can hear him up in the scrub until after dark and he just won't come out so it gets a bit frantic in these last like couple of minutes of daylight but if they're going to come out it's going to be now so they're a bit of a bastard aren't like this but this this last 10 minutes of light is is when you should see boars come out and get your chances I'm just going to wait until after dark anyway to see if anything does come out so that's pretty well us for day one out of um usable light. Um, it wasn't a bad day actually, seen a good boar early on in the morning, another young boar and we've sort of marked out where a few sows and young ones are so all in all it's pretty successful. Going to probably try a couple of different spots tomorrow, do a bit of exploring and I guess see what our best route is for later in the week. But, um, yeah, we'll start stepping back and go cook ourselves a meal and start the fire because it is cold. <laughs> 